Welcome back to another episode on Real Talk. This is our Halloween edition. So we are going to be talking about horror stories. Ooh. <laughs> um, and in spirit, um, some of us dressed up or are in spirit. I love that shirt. I was like, I need to get one of those. Mm-hmm. I almost bought one, actually. <laughs> um, but I'm Caitlin. But today I am Wednesday Adams. And I'll let you guys kind of go around the room and introduce yourselves. I'm Erica. Today I am a smarty pants, as I have smarties glued onto my pants. <laughs> I am a '70s hippie. Pretty Love. <laughs> and I'm Jen, and I just have the, the spirit shirt on. That's it's still okay though. Here in spirit, we hard are very. It's hard to be in costume when you might have to go visit a property. Yep. Yep. True. I definitely walked into Kroger like this today. <laughs> yeah, Got some looks. <laughs> I was just saying, I have to go into. Um, marshall's after this so mm. it's fine i mean it's it's spooky season it's yeah. fine um for those who might just only be listening to this definitely check it out on youtube you are not gonna want to miss it uh, <laughs> we have a giant bowl of candy in front of us um a few of us are eating on that on it um so very excited um who wants to start with their first horse story Ooh, i can mm-hmm. start okay this one's just like kind of sad um <laughs> But it can be spooky. Ooh. Um, So there was a property that um, we had some tenants in there. And so I'm in the property management, so I just deal with the tenants most of the time. And so um, one of the tenants, I must have been a drug dealer or very heavily involved with drugs. And they ended up getting shot in one of our houses. Oh. And they died. Oh. That was a very... (laughs) It was a very sad thing. It was very like, what do we do now? And yeah. you know, having to take care of the whole thing, you know, the police were involved. So that was very scary, you know, yeah. having to deal with that. I think that owner is trying to sell that house as well. So, because he doesn't want to have to oh, deal with terrible. that yeah. any longer. So it was a very sad, very oh, scary man. situation scary. trying to figure out, oh. that. <laughs> navigate that whole thing. Ooh. I know. I'm sorry. I really dropped, <laughs> dropped the mic. <laughs> Sometimes a horror story is just that. It's yeah, like, yeah it's absolutely. Like such a big, uh, yeah, you know. real estate horror story. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, definitely one of them. Mm. Biggest horror. Biggest nightmare for any property owner. That would yeah. be. That, that I think that would be the worst. Well, good. It's only uphill from here. Then. Right. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> um, so I'll share one. Um, it's, it also has to do, deal with property management. Um, and it's not, it's not really scary, but it was um, maybe uh, frightening for us a little bit, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so essentially, um, I used to work in property management when I uh, was in college. And um, I had this resident come in and turn in their 30-day move-out notice. Well, I forgot to file it. And I didn't know. And I like <laughs> completely, we were like, what is going on? This person hadn't paid rent in two months and, like, all these things because where I used to work, if they didn't renew or give us 30-day notice, we automatically put them on a month-to-month basis. Mm -hmm. So, we're like, they haven't paid their rent in two months. You know, we, like, started the eviction process and, like, all of these things. And we're like, well, let's do, like, a well check. You know, what, you know, we've tried calling. Let's just do a well check to be safe. Um, So my property manager and I and our maintenance techs went to go do a well check and um, it was empty but like I mean there was a lot of stuff left behind but there was no one currently living in it Um, and like there were like needles on the ground but here's the kicker this is where it was terrifying um, for me at least (laughs) Um, we opened the fridge uh-oh. And there were bugs everywhere. There was moldy milk, like old, like custard milk, all kinds of moldy food in it, and like all these things because the fridge, for whatever reason, had like turned off. Um, and it was very, very bad. Um, so we had to go through like this whole thing on like reversing the eviction oh. and all this stuff. And my poor maintenance techs, um, they were not too fond of me because they were the ones who had to do the trash out on all of our <laughs> units. 
Um, they still loved me, though. I'm still in communication <laughs> with them, so that's all good. Um, but that was very bad. But what I learned from it was I never forgot to file a move-out notice. So uh, <laughs> that was a plus. Ooh. Oh, yeah. man, <laughs> You live and learn. You live and learn. That is rough. Jen, I'm sure because you're in the rehab side oh, of things, yeah. you have some headaches. Don't we have a property that we have in the haunted listening. house? Is that? Yeah, I'm listening to you guys and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, oh, 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 I could tell that story. Or I could tell that story. Or I could tell, <laughs> tell that story. Yeah, we had one that we called the haunted house, but really it wasn't haunted. It just looked like a haunted mm-hmm. house. It looked yeah. like you could put some gargoyles up and it would yep. be perfect for Halloween. Yep. Um. Sometimes when I'm in there checking on progress and I'm by myself, like maybe the contractor isn't there that day and no one else is with me, it's really spooky when you hear mm. noises. Oh, yeah. Oh, Something will fall and you're like, okay, what's that? Who's in here? Yep. Um, there was one property where somehow a cat had gotten in. Oh. And he had scared the daylights out of the punch guy oh, because no. <laughs> he didn't know he was in there. And, you know, you, you like, see something just, like, flying by oh, and you don't know what it is. Oh, you just man. catch it out of the corner of your yeah. eye. So I went there after he had gotten out of there um, doing the punch list. So I knew the cat was going to be, you know, could possibly be there. And sure enough, I walk up and I see him sitting in the windowsill oh. um, in the front window. So I'm like, okay, let's see how this is going to go. You know, well, he was more scared of me yeah. probably even than mm-hmm. I was of him. Yeah. So I open the side door and he comes flying by to like try to escape oh. out that side door or go down the basement. And as he's running by me, I don't know what he's going to do. I'm screaming. Because you know? <laughs> I'm like, what? You know? Um so that was that was that one story, but yeah, we've had crazy stuff like going through the house when we do our what we call our acquisition walks, especially mm-hmm. if it's a property that's mm-hmm. been vacant. Um, we will sometimes joke about the murdery door, <laughs> <had> a, <laughs> the door that just has like it's usually it's just something leaked from yeah. the roof, and yep. it just makes it look more ominous than yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. Um, we have horror yeah, stories about properties that we just are struggling to push across the finish line. Mm-hmm. Those are horror so, stories. Those are nightmares. Yeah. Those are nightmares. <laughs> exactly. Yep. So, yep. yeah. We've seen it oh, all. Oh I have a couple. Um, I was thinking about them. One has to do with the house that I am living in now. Um, mm. And another has to do with one of our properties. I was in contact with both of you during that. So, for the house I'm living in now, um, I have a friend who's very... Um, she She's into those... Um, witch stuff and witchcraft and stuff like that. Super cute, but um, she wanted to sage our house. Um, it is a, there's an upstairs main level basement. Basement is like ours, it's unfinished. It's good for storage and stuff. Yeah. Um, laundry and stuff like that. So she saged our entire house <laughs> and then um, she went down to the basement um, and the sage wouldn't light. It, it, it wouldn't catch, it wouldn't um, smoke or anything. So she just advised us not to go down there anymore. <laughs> we don't go down there. Um, if we have to do laundry, always bring a partner. Always bring oh. The buddy system. <laughs> we don't go down there. Um, but the other one that was one of our properties, this one actually did frighten me in a sense of like, somebody's in the house. Um, yeah. I don't remember what property it was. I remember I FaceTimed you and I was texting you during the whole process because I was terrified. Oh. Um, but I was inside. It was a pretty big house, I would say two or three levels um and as I was upstairs I heard some walking maybe stuff moving around downstairs you remember remember this so I (laughs) went outside of the porch sat on the step facetimed you Caitlin yep um I was talking about the whole thing and all of a sudden I heard something bang inside and drop and I was like I'm gonna die. I'm not going down. <laughs> all those lights inside, they're gonna stay on. Cause like I go to properties, take pictures of them. Um, this one is all finished, ready to go for property pictures, and it's haunted. I believe it's still haunted. <laughs> so, um, I went back inside um, with Caitlin on Facetime, just yeah. talking through it. I'm sure my face was pure white, but I went upstairs to the bathroom. I saw that the light in the bathroom had just slipped off and fell on the ground. <laughs> that was it. But I didn't finish the house. No. Yeah. No. I home. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a very big scaredy cat. We actually talked about this in the vlog. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, I used to take pro picks before you mm-hmm. did. And I like very rarely went alone because I'm a scaredy cat. 
uh, which is ironic for my costume because I'm Wednesday <laughs> Adams, and she like they're like, oh, what do you smell like? I like that perfume, and she's like, it's death. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, so I never went alone. No nope. basements. Do not. I do not do basements. And so whenever I would go. I would have someone stand at the top of the basement door, hold the door open because I'm terrified of it, like, slamming shut. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and it's a real fear. And they, um, th- I actually went to a property with someone before. Um, and she knew that I had this fear. And she, I was, like, downstairs. Like, I wasn't on the stairs. Like, I was actually downstairs in the basement doing something. And she just, like, slammed the door shut. Mm-hmm. And, like, my heart just dropped. And I ran to the bottom of the mm-hmm. stairs and it was shut. And I, like, walked up, and I was able to get out. And she's just, like, <laughs> cracking up. And I'm like, that is not funny. No, not our basements funny. are terrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dayton well, has some crazy-looking basements. Basement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, we yeah. are in 100-plus-year-old houses. Yes. Yep. yes. So I always send Bill Stewart is our <laughs> junior project manager for Bulldog. And he's tall. So I we send him into the basement first. With the joke that he clears all the cobwebs yep. out because <laughs> he's tall, so Aww. he kind of hits them all. Um, but I, I've actually gotten to the point where they don't bother me. Really? That much. Oh, I mean, if they don't have spiders like actively on them, then mm-hmm. yeah, it's a pain. It's annoying. You come out and you're like, you know, got to get it all out of your hair, and <laughs> off your jacket, and stuff. But for the most part, it's just mm-hmm. they're just cobwebs, I guess. Oh, see, yeah. even like. On the few times that I went alone, I would, like, look like Elf, like, trying to go up the escalators where I'm, like, have one foot on the top step and my (laughs) other, like, extended completely down, just, like, trying to get, like, angles of the basement so they could still be taken, but still within arm's reach of the door in case I I need to escape. Mm -hmm. Yep, I still do that. I, there was one property that I went to. It wasn't fully finished yet, um, but I was in the bathroom upstairs, I guess on the main floor, and... The vent wasn't put in place yet. So I looked through the vent and I saw a basement with the light on. I checked every door in the house and it, I found no doors that could lead to that basement. But there was a light on. I saw it in everything. Mm. Like you could look around. You could see the poles, the light, the light bulb. I couldn't find the basement though. Was it like a like a crawl space or was there like something no, outside maybe? It was a basement. I huh. looked outside. I couldn't find it. So No access from the outside. It's a different dimension. I, I think... Jen, after this podcast, she's going to be like, so what was that property? <laughs> that's that's right. be like, oh, that's oh it was right there. You just had to do this. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes the basements are spooky, I understand. But sometimes they're actually the best part of the house. Yeah. If it, the upstairs is so full of stuff that people have left behind. Yeah. And if they've had animals and they haven't cared for mm, them. True. There's that smell. Sometimes the basement is refreshing because... In the summer, it's cool. True. Usually true. doesn't smell as bad. So I've mm-hmm. learned to embrace the basement. <laughs> there was a basement that I was just looking at a property to try to figure out rent car- costs. And um, it's currently tenanted. And so I was just looking through the pictures to see, like, oh, what kind of shape is it in? And I went to the basement. And I actually sent Caitlin this picture. And it is full of clothing like they have a washer and dryer down there but they have all these clothing and so they have like Mm -hmm. like a roach nest down there (gasps) and and like bed bugs and i'm like oh god oh Oh, i'm not excited to figure out nightmares (laughs) that's a nightmare (laughs) Mm -mm. it's a little rough yeah (laughs) oh man properties are so funny so i have another story that i actually just thought about while in this this is more of a like personal um experience like what have you um but my when I was little my mom had rented this house and we had found out that um a drug deal gone wrong um and someone was shot on the front porch well um the landlord had apparently actually told my mom like hey you know, we are willing to do, like, a two-week kind of, like, rent basis because, you know, we can't keep anyone in here. They say that they have experienced, like, all kinds of things, and we don't want to, like, tie anyone down, especially since you have kids. Like creepy things? Like, like ghosty things? Yes. Or, yes. like, people so, coming up trying to buy more drugs? No, no, like, <laughs> like ghostly okay. adventures. And so my mom was like, you know what? I need a place. We'll deal with it. Um. So, my mom had, like, told me this, but I was I was trying to be, like, super in denial about it because I had never experienced anything. She w- said that she had experienced some things. Um, and so, I would, like, randomly do things. 
So, like, she had, like, a fake plant in the corner, and I, w- I moved it one time in front of the bathroom door, and she opened it, and it was right there. And she was like, like, really, guys, who moved this? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, played it off so well. And she started freaking out. I would, like, trick trick the lights off and on, and, like, I would do all kinds of things. But then I actually experienced something, and I was terrified to go back to that house. We had a little, like, crawl space underneath, and um, there – we never went down there just because, like, it was really just, like, insulation. Like, that's really all that it was. Like, it was, mm-hmm. like, very small space, everything. Um, but there was a radio down there for whatever reason. I don't know. I just kind of, like, looked under and saw the radio, and I was like, yeah, I'm back up. Mm-mm. But every now and then the radio would start playing, like, really, like, old, weirder music. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. It was kind of, like, like almost, like, jazzy kind of music. Um freaked me out. I would just slam the door shut. Um, the light would randomly come on and off. The light on our porch would start like randomly flickering. So it was like the longer we were there, the more things happened. Um, but that was a real like horror story for me because I don't, <laughs> I don't do ghostly adventures. Absolutely I don't. Not. That's no. so funny. You don't think your mom was trying to get back at you? So <laughs> totally oh no. Video. Oh no. I mean, she may have, <laughs> but like we've talked about this now that you know, like I'm an adult and we're older, and that was years ago. Like, shoot, whenever she tells people about it, she still will like say like, "Oh yeah, that place was definitely haunted." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's rough. I'm thankful we don't have any haunted properties. At least yeah. that we know of. True. True. <laughs> they probably are. Yeah, yeah. you never know. I'm we convinced do. whenever I go into them by myself that they are. <laughs> yeah. Expect the worst. Expect the worst. <laughs> well, so that's what we were talking about in the vlog was um it was tiffany was supposed to be here and she had a couple of stories that she wanted to share but the Mm -hmm. one that she really was excited about um was from a previous marketing assistant she went to this property to take photos and um she heard footsteps so she like started freaking out she called the office and was like hey is anyone supposed to be here they were like no she was like okay cool um well she stayed um, I heard from another source that she actually hid in a closet for a little bit of time. Oh. Um, and then she decided to, like, finally, like, go out and leave. Well, she saw muddy foot footprints leading up to an attic to a closet in the attic. And, like, it was just, like, a one-way direction kind of thing. Like, they walked in and went straight to the closet in the attic. Um, yeah, I would have peaced out. Can't do that. Absolutely not. That's nope. what they call the police. If you're hiding in a closet at that point, you should probably call the police. <laughs> like a non-emergency number. But, no, I'd call 911. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yesterday, we had to run over to a property because um, our maintenance – well, a neighbor had told me when I went there earlier yesterday that um, there were squatters, like people that would, like, go and hang out in the garage that was detached. So uh, I made a work order for our maintenance techs, two of them, to go out there and, like, check it out you know, secure it and all this different stuff. And there were, there were people in there. Well, actually, I think they walked up on them securing it. And they were like, hey, what are you doing? I just want to get my stuff. And they were like, I, no, we're not going to let you in here. So they threatened to just, they were like, whenever you leave, we're just going to come back and get our stuff, you know, break back in. I was like, gosh, that was a dumb thing to do anyway. Like, yeah, why would you yeah. tell somebody that? But um, then, so Jen's assistant was going to the property to help out and just kind of like, like watch it while um, the guys went to go get the supplies that they need. And I was like, you can't go by yourself. No. So then I went, but then our Aaron, our CEO went because he like heard us talking about it and he was mad. He came in hot driving in there. He was like, like, where are these guys? (laughs) It was so funny. Uh, He might've been kind of joking, but then he circled the neighborhood to try to find them. Mm -hmm. Well, that garage is nice. Yeah. It's like Fonzie's yeah, garage on Happy Days. You know, oh. I'm dating myself with that, too. <laughs> but, yeah, squatters are an issue. They're scary. Another one that yeah. I usually send, Bill Stewart, in, mm. you know, he's good at just being like, get out. Get your stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. You have five minutes, or I call the police. Yeah. You know, or I've had to, at the, um, the certain, the apartments in Middletown have had to just and you, and you don't really want to touch the stuff because you don't know, you know, yeah. whatever. So I've kind of been known to kind of just kick it out the door and um, secure the, the, you know, the the, um, the lock or whatever. But one time when I was there, oh, I just thought about this one. <laughs> so we were, 
I don't remember if I was supposed to be checking it to make sure it was vacant, which is always a thing that you should do not by yourself. Yes. <laughs> but I did happen to be there by myself, opened the back door. It looked like I could see all the way through the kitchen and toward the front because that's the way these are designed. And it looked like there was a blanket or a sheet or whatever on the floor. Um, you know, it was far away, so I wasn't positive that there was someone sleeping under it. But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> This is above my pay grade. I'm yeah. not <laughs> Don't going even in. try. No. Nope. Yeah. So, no, thank you. Backed yeah. out, locked it up. I'm like, okay, you need to send somebody down here to yep. to clear this guy. That's out. what I've done. Better safe yeah. than sorry. There was one yeah. property down in Cincinnati, I think. Um, I was looking through the house. I always do that when I get there. Mm-hmm. Um, first, I'll make sure the door was locked before I went in. But going inside, <clears throat> checking all the doors, all the closets, turning on all the lights. Um, mm-hmm. But I noticed that the back door was. Um, unlocked and slightly open Mm -hmm. Um, so I Mm -hmm. left immediately sat in my car called the police department (laughs) non-emergency not emergency (laughs) Um, and had a cop come down walk the place Um, he cleared the cobwebs for me in the basement (laughs) Um, but yeah it better safe than sorry for these for these kind of properties oh my gosh and that you know that can go that kind of sounds like a horror story on its own like oh you have you know like squatters kind of thing (laughs) but no in all reality that can literally happen like anywhere Mm -hmm. a vacant property you know even if it's in rehab it's been vacant for a while or it's vacant and you're trying to get at least you know literally that can happen anywhere Mm -hmm. um someone just sees an opportunity and they take their shot so Mm -hmm. oh my um, gosh i was so scared i went to a property um and i went it was like a duplex upstairs downstairs and i walked upstairs and i noticed that there's a balcony and the doors were open and i was like Oh, Mm-mm. my gosh. And so I was, like, gingerly, like, walked in. And I was like, okay. And there, I, like, went into the back rooms, and another door, like, another window was open. And I was like, oh, my God. What am I going to do? <laughs> and so I was just, like, walking. And I didn't feel, like, like unsettled. You know, you can't have a gut feeling. But yeah. I was just like, I don't know. So I'm just going to keep walking. <laughs> and it was fine. And there was nothing. And I kept, like, like I, I would never, like, let my back you know, mm-hmm. like, go to just where everything right. was, because I was yep. like, I'm just going to be very careful, just in case someone's, like, hiding from me, you know? Mm-hmm. So I took oh. all my pictures that I needed to, though, and uh, they're actually fixing the door, I think, today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my God, I was so scared, though. You always got to be better safe than sorry for yeah. those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. Oh, man. I, um, my parents, so I managed their rentals for them, they had a property um, that came vacant this past summer um and the guy he you know he left I went this is the first time that I had like gone into a property right after someone has moved out because usually like my brothers would do that or something um well no this is me my first time Mm -hmm. I was by myself I shouldn't have been by myself (laughs) because we weren't like certain if they were out or not um again live and learn everything was fine luckily um as far as like going by myself, but I walked in and the entire house was destroyed. Um, this person had um, several dogs. They weren't allowed to have dogs per the lease or animals per the lease. Um, well, he did. And he let them use the restroom inside the house. Um, and there was carpet. So like the living room and all of the bedrooms were carpet. And so we had to completely rip up the carpet, um, the padding, and all of that because it was terrible, um, especially in the bedroom. Um, there were – he um, had, like, punched holes in all the walls, so we had to do all kinds of drywall repair. Um, the We had to get new appliances because they were just destroyed on the inside and outside. Um but so for me, that was like my first experience ever doing that. And I was not in the proper attire. I was in sandals. Um, <laughs> and I was oh, very terrified. Oh, yeah. I was like, you know, I have got, done several walks with BDR and with Jen. I should know better than this. I like, why did I set myself up for failure? Luckily, again, nothing happened. But I was terrified walking in and like walking on the carpet and everything. I was like, oh, my gosh. You throw those sandals away. I um, like, or did but I did. I did clean them. Mm-hmm. I did, um, and I did also check myself for fleas mm-hmm. oh, before yeah. I like got out of my car and drove away and everything because you never yeah. know. 
but yeah. Yep. So that was an experience. Is bug spray, a pair of rubber boots in a plastic bag. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I wish there were a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> and see, and these are all like things, you know, like you you learn as you go. Mm-hmm. You know, you never yeah. know what you could walk into. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It's just, you never know with real estate because you're dealing with people, the general public, yeah. and they have different ways of living. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, generally, you know, I know this is like the horror stories podcast or Halloween edition, but in a nutshell, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, out. You know, that's what this tattoo means. Actually, you know, yep. no, if there's no rain, you aren't going to have any flowers, essentially. Yep. So, you know, you'll go through hardships and it ends up coming. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's so sweet. cool to see a house. That has been a horror story when we first yes. walked through it, and then you see it at the very end. The, Absolutely. The first house, the like the week after I started here, <laughs> the first house I ever walked, again, I was in sandals because I didn't know better either. Yep. <laughs> and they were literally shoveling the trash down the stairs to get it out. Wow. Every window was broken. It was awful. It was yeah. just a disaster. Um, and by the time it was finished and completely rehabbed, is beautiful. Yeah, yeah one nice. of our nicest, nicest properties um, that I've seen. So yeah, completely. Exactly. Kind of the, the well, bright side of yeah. real estate is we're <clears throat> making the neighborhoods better. Yes, even if it is a nightmare house, even if there are um, mm-hmm. squatters, even if it's trashed. Um, in the end, it's still making the neighborhood better once we're done with it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That um, you just reminded me of a property that we had. Um, again, this was a while ago. But we had acquired it, and, like, it was almost immediately after we closed it flooded, right? Yes. Um, and that was yep. a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, Were and you again, originally supposed to, like, keep the floor and everything? Five feet of water in the basement. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and wasn't it, like, pouring in, mm-hmm. too? Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember wa- going in um, right after mm-hmm. we had gotten all the water out, and the light fixtures were, like, filled with uh-huh. water. Um, the floors were completely warped. And it, like, before the water damage, like, it was beautiful before. Like, it could, like, all of that could have been, right. you know, restored. And it would have been beautiful. Like, the hardwood floors, everything. Um, but, again, you know, we went through that. And I remember seeing it. I was like, this does not even look the same. Mm-hmm. Like, this is gorgeous now. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, it makes it completely different. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You Absolutely. never know. Mm-hmm. So exciting. This was good. I loved doing this. This was fun. <laughs> Does anyone have anything else they want to say or share? Any final words? Smarty mm. pants, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, it speaks a lot that we can turn these properties into yes, something beautiful. Absolutely. I think our team is, like, really solid, and we have a lot of experience through throughout all of us, so we figure it out. Yep. Or we're so yeah. naive, we come up with new solutions. We, get yeah. <laughs> yeah, we figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get it figured yeah. out. So it's awesome. <laughs> Something I was I meant to add on to what you were saying earlier about, um, you know, with the squatter issue that you guys were dealing with, was that literally people just jumped in to help. Mm. Like, and that's very much, you know, our culture here at the family of companies. I mean, I mean, in this room alone, we have... We have Freedom Real Estate Group, Independence Property Management, Bulldog Renovations. Um, Lauren and I are kind of all <laughs> over. So, you know, Cash for Ohio Houses, yep. Bulldog, IRG, all of them, yep. um, for everything. So it's it's very warm feeling and nice, you know, being not only being able to, like, work here and, like, have that experience, but just having knowing that, like, we have, like, people to back our backs yeah so that's everyone huge. is ready to jump in and help yeah. when something has to be done yeah it may not always be fun um especially if you're in open-toed sandals <laughs> but <laughs> yeah yeah all right guys well i appreciate you guys all doing this i hope you guys enjoyed this podcast i know it's a little different than what we normally do um but again we just wanted to do something a little fun and different um we hope you guys all have a good day if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on future topics that you want us to talk about or even touch base on feel free to put it in the comments below Uh, we'd be more than happy to answer those or touch on that topic for you guys we always like to end these with invest smart live happy bye guys
Nothing on this show should be considered specific personal or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions and information on this show are not guaranteed. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss.